I get no sleep, no sweat, I get paid, I, get I pay no, no sleep day, no, Houston. no, I don't play, I don't work all night, I don't work all day. Okay, fight fans, CombatSportsTVLive.com comes to you one more time. This time you can see this guy right here is kind of slowing down. Let me go ahead and shake the hand right here of the wild thing, Jason Sands. So we're over here at Motors Gym. We're in Coppell again. Jason, first of all, it's always good to see you. How you been? Been great, man. Uh, can't, can't complain. Well, I tell you what, I want you to talk loud because I know everybody, you know how I am. I'm a loud mouth. You know you and you're. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm a loud mouth. No, I've got Rhett behind the camera. First of all, Rhett, I want to thank you so much. This right here is one of the training partners. Go and give a shout out, Rhett. Say hi. Right. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good. Man with the ears. That was the best one. But anyway, they got through They got through uh, uh, rolling right now. But Jason, what I wanted to do today is I really wanted to give a, a if I can say this, a state of a union, state, state of Jason, Samson address to the fight fans. Let them know where you're at, what's going on. I know there's a lot been going on here. First of all, let me ask you. Go ahead and tell me something about the record. Let's go and give everybody an update what the record is right now and in, 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 in what uh, in the life of Jason Sampson in the cage. Uh, right now I'm sitting at 9 and 1 and uh, couldn't be happier. You know, came out, came off uh, just a, another big win. Uh, you know, on March March 16th against uh, the tough guy Jeremy Myers. And uh, speaking of him, my boy Chad Skelly just beat him uh, at 145. At XKO so, 15, yeah. Yeah, XKO. So uh, my hat's off to Chaz. Uh, you know he's a he's a uh, you know tough opponent at 145 and uh, you know Scott's one that guy so uh, proud of him. Just a side note, you can catch that interview Chaz Skelly on CSTVLive.com. What you're looking at right now, just scroll down a little bit deeper. Stud you'll see. <laughs> yes, stud oh, I tell you what, these are the guys that make me a stud because they give me all the information. They get me all worked up the whole nine yards. But uh, let's keep on talking about Jason Sampson. Jason, you have an awesome game. I know right now that you fight at 135 when you crawl into the cage. Uh, I've got to tell you right now, but I just heard something. I heard something. I want you to tell the fight fans what happened this past week. I heard there was something that uh, you got involved in, and uh, it could have maybe called for a little bit of uh... probably ground a pound. Okay, tell, hey, tell the fight fans what happened. I mean, I think there's another fighter who got a lot of recognition for what you did, and I think yours went a little bit further than his. Yeah, I think it did. Uh... You know, uh, it was on a beautiful day, you know, I was coming to work, uh, just like I do every day. And I uh, usually stop at, uh, stop at the 7-Eleven sure. over here, at, you know, in Cobb Hill. And, uh, and uh, a little girl was sitting on the road, you know, on the curb, uh, smoking a cigarette. And, uh, and I thought she was like 18, 19 years old. Okay. And, uh, you know, she was talking to another guy that pulled up in the truck. Sure. And uh, I walked in the store and, uh, you know, get my rock star like I usually do before I come in the train. and. Uh, and uh, you know, wake up. But uh, anyway, I was in line, standing in the line, and uh, another guy walks up, grabs his girl by the hair, slams her against the the, the window, and uh, starts like right her. God, yeah, yeah. right over here at 10, 15 in the morning, and uh, a bunch of people were just uh, you know walking around and uh, driving by, and uh, a bunch of long guys came in. Uh, and just watch this happen in, in the parking lot, you know. And Nobody doing anything. No one did a damn thing about it. And uh, I mean, it was choking this girl, headbutting this girl, uh, you know, stole her phone. And uh, so I left all my wallet. I even lost money on the deal. Gee. Uh, well, I threw all my money on the counter. And uh, I think the guy behind me probably took my money. But uh, uh, I left my Oakleys in there. I actually broke my Oakleys, throwing them down. And uh, I ran outside. And I uh, started telling the guy I was about to whip his ass. Uh, and uh, he started calling me every name in the book. And uh, so it, he pissed me off. And uh, so I chased after him. I only got hit by cars. I caught him. And uh, you now I let the ground and pound begin. And, uh, and uh, the cops showed up and got him. And uh, they put him in jail where he belongs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and the girl was only 15 years old. So now I had to go to court uh, because the kid was 18. And then, oh, she was Lord. 15. Oh. And she was just a juvenile. So, uh, you know, I did a good deed, but uh, man, it's, it's pretty sad how many people just watch. Sure, sure. So, and, you know, and that was really the point I was trying to make here. It wasn't really the heroism from the standpoint of of him having to do some. It's just that, you know, as a pro, I know that he was probably a little reluctant from the standpoint of having to to, to jump. But when you saw no one else jump, I mean, I know you would have done something. I'm not saying you would have done anything, but all of a sudden, just to see humanity take a back seat. 
what I call, you know, a violation of, of, of a, in this case, a 15-year-old girl. You're not knowing that. But, you know what, I, I, I've known Jason Sampson, and I know the warrior in his heart. But I'm going to tell you, the kindred spirit that he possesses and the humbleness in his soul, yeah, he talks a tough game. When he gets into the cage, I'm going to tell you, it's assholes and, well, I didn't mean to say it's uh, none but just elbows, okay? And everything else, baby. It's on like Donkey Kong. That's what it's all about. That's what the profession is. But I know outside the scholar and the gentleman that you are, I love it. Jason, tell me, what's the future looking like for you right now? Man, just uh, you know, training my guys right now, yeah. getting all my guys up and coming. Got a lot of tough guys uh, up and coming, a lot of young uh, guys, including one of the guys holding the camera. Uh, you know, Red? I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on Red's ass every day because I know he, he has a lot of talent, and uh, he's got to get some... Uh, Cojones, he gotta get that, get that man strength in him, but, uh, but no, he's such a little guy, look at him, he's such a little guy, and he's soaking wet, he's like 125 pounds. Well, but, uh, I, well, you know what, I saw him, he was rolling with you, I know right yeah. now you're, you're probably about 140, 145, maybe uh, right around there right now, and he was holding his own with you. He was holding his own with you, don't get me wrong. I mean, but I've got a wild thing, baby, right here. This thing gets a crawl in his rear end, baby, and he's gone. Okay, well, let me, let me ask you this. Matt Rossini is your new manager. Yeah. Tell me about the, the stable of fighters in that, and tell me something about, about Matt. Uh, Matt's a great guy. Uh, you know, I've been with him about a year now. Uh, yeah, probably about a year, and, uh, you, know, you know, I'm fighting the Bellator now. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be bigger promotions sure, uh, sure. later on, but, uh, you know, I'm very happy with where I am with Matt, and, uh... That's and Imperial. 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 Imperial Fight Management, and uh, that's Matt Rossini. So, uh, any top dogs that uh, are looking for a good manager, uh, and I mean top dogs, we got some badasses on this team. So, like, uh, you know, Doug Frey, uh, I mean Doug Fry, sorry, he, he can get a little sick. That's my pride, man. Yeah, that's my pride, man. <laughs> and congratulations, my boy just got married to his beautiful wife, Jen. So, uh, props, props, props to both of y'all. Props so, to both of y'all, baby. Uh, but uh, it's life's good here, you know, at, at the gym. Uh, you know, just training, trying to get my guys ready. Uh, I know uh, a couple guys are coming up. They have big fights, you know, to where uh, you know, you know, my my time here at the gym is just to get those guys ready. Gotcha. And, uh, gotcha. And my next opponent uh, is gonna come up, you know, sooner or later, and uh, I'll, I'll just play it by ear. That's it. That's it. So. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna segue from Matt Rosini being a great man to Matt Rosini being a contact. If I've got anyone else out there that is looking for a fight, say they can't get a fight, I've got no, you got no excuses now. Because his man's going to give you some contact information. All you fighters out there who are looking for a fight and can't find one, looking to move it on like Donkey Kong, all of you trainers, coaches, managers, let me go ahead and let Jason at this time give me some contact information. If somebody's looking to get it on with one of man's boys, who, how do they get a hold of Matt Rosen? Man, you gotta, uh, there's a lot of ways, I don't know Matt's number by hand, but uh, right. his number is, you know, uh, just uh, look up Matt Rossini, Imperial Fight Management, and uh, you know, he has his own fan page, he has, uh, you can look on uh, Matt Rossini on my uh, Facebook page, uh, you can go to his page and uh, ask some questions, but uh, like I said, he's a badass guy to be heard, and uh, a good, a good person, and uh, he looks out for the fighters, okay. you know, a lot of managers don't, and, uh, and if you need a fight, uh, so, uh, definitely contact him. Okay, don't forget Matt Rosini, and I think you spell that R O S E O R O S S I N I. Okay, no excuses now. So, as a trainer, I mean, as if you're looking for a manager, you've got one here. If you're looking for a fight, you've got one all in one. He's a two for one. I'm going to close it up with this. Uh, Jason, I mean, the wild thing, I, you know, I love you, baby. I love the action you bring me. I love what you do for MMA. I love what you do for the students. I love what you do for the entire Dallas-Fort Worth area. We love you. We want to see you back in there. Yeah, sometimes you can get a little cocky, baby. But you know what? It's not cocky when you can do it. And this man can do it right here. We're going to wish you, first of all, great luck in Bellator. Why don't you go and close this up with some last-minute shout-outs, whatever you want to say to your five fans. I just want to thank all my fans for uh, sticking behind me, uh, and uh, you know, every step of the way, you know, uh, life's been, life's been uh, up and down. It's been like a roller coaster, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, uh, you know, and I've been, I've been going, going strong. But uh, I thank you guys, all my sponsors for, uh, you know, uh, supporting me on every fight and uh, backing me up to, uh, to today's date. And uh, couldn't get my coach, Coach Moeller, Team Moeller, Moeller Jiu Jitsu. And uh, all the guys I fight, not welcome. <laughs>
Yeah, but, uh, he, he stole, he stole my, he stole my clothes and to the haters. <laughs> but uh, like I said, like uh, Coach Muller, you know, uh, he's like my pops. So like, uh, you know, I look up to him and uh, sky's the limit for us, you know. And uh, we got a lot of uh, potential in this gym and uh, sky's the limit for us. And I appreciate uh, my girlfriend Susan for backing me up. I uh, love you, babe. And uh, and all my you know students, friends, family for sticking behind me and uh, of course sexy ass rolling in <laughs> for uh, all the interviews and making all the boxing happen in Texas and, and especially the MMA because he's a boxing guy first but MMA he loves the MMA as a passion and uh, and Scott's the limit for him too so uh, he's very good at what he does so uh, need an interview Roland Gomez hit him up baby let me shake the hand the wild thing this is none other than Jason the wild thing Samson we're gonna see him bring down the cage again here and it's Roland Gomez, CSTVLive.com. We bring another beautiful, beautiful interview. Jason Sanson, Roland Gomez, saying farewell. Not for long, because you know we'll be back. Until our next one. I get no sleep, no sweat. I get paid.